What's going on, guys? It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here, and I'm back with another reaction of Vinland Saga. It is finally back, and I am ready for it. Okay, so um, in case you guys don't know, there is an update video coming off this, but in case you don't know, um, just received the copyright strike on the channel. It wasn't because of any of the anime it was because of a tv show um doing currently reacting to rome um so i don't know what's going to happen towards that but it um it takes three months to clarify a copyright strike even though this video was was already claimed you know for hbo they decided to go ahead and copyright my strat my channel so i'm dealing with that currently so i'm asking you guys to be patient with me um so um as i said there's an update video coming on it and how i felt about it i've been wanting to talk about this situation for a while but every time i i have recorded the video i've decided not to do it because i just don't want to be one of those people but at this point now that it's personally affecting me i have to talk about it and help you guys to understand from my end how i feel about it and stuff like that so Forget all that melancholy stuff, okay? Let's get to this Vinland greatness, okay? So we have Thoris right now about to go up against the dude that um, that Floki hired to take out Thoris. And he's on the boat right now. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, at this point, you guys said it, it's, you know what I'm saying, like to be careful of how... You know you approach this anime because the manga is, is really good the manga is really good you never know what's going to happen now i've watched the opening a couple of times and i realized that they featured a son at an older age thorfinn they feature him at an older age so are we going to get a time skip soon or something like that um i don't know maybe i don't know is is thor's going to die what you know, because he doesn't seem like he's the main character. It seems like Thorfinn is the main character. So, I don't know if something is going to happen to him in, in, in the later feature. Or is he, are they going to do a time skip? Maybe he, uh, you know, Thoris is going to die. Or s something of the sort. Um, I don't know if this is the moment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm hoping that it's not. Um, but... I will see you guys for the reaction. Make sure you go check out the reaction. Um, and then we'll be right back here for the review. All right. So, you know, I talked about the intro and even right basically before I have it, it, it it happened in a way I didn't expect it to happen. But as I said, man, openings, and th that's the reason why I, you know, from, um, I pretty much kind of, like, I stopped, I started to skip openings a while, a while back. But because you guys want to see me watch openings, I've started to watch openings again because I know openings are famous for spoiling a lot of shit about anime. And that's the reason why I don't watch them. It's the reason why I don't watch them because they give away too much um, a lot of times, right? I don't know why they do this because nothing else in the history of TV does this, but anime does it. They show all this, these images and stuff of st stuff that you can decipher and figure out stuff that is going to happen in the anime. And it's like, if you want to show cool, just show cool stuff. You don't have to show the actual characters that, you know, crazy fights. You can show characters that are coming up in the series. So we can speculate about who that person could possibly be. If it's a new antagonist, you know what I'm saying? We can, we can, we can spe specifically, you know what I'm saying? leave it as vague as possible but but that was kind of this opening was kind of too obvious as to what going to happen if you're not a if you're not a person who analyzes a lot you get what i'm saying like if i was just listening to the music maybe you know what i'm saying like 
if I was just listening to the music, then uh, probably I'll just start doing that going forward. If I'll just listen to the music and not watch the actual opening because it really did spoil that for me. And I'm a person that I read between, 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 between the lines. You know, I go in depth in everything that I see and everything, everything I analyze a lot, even without realizing it. Um, so let's talk about the episode itself. As I said before, that's why I kept saying I wasn't spoiled. Well, I was spoiled by the opening, but it wasn't like somebody told me that Thor's was going to die because I didn't, I didn't know until when I watched the last episode. I know I didn't talk, I didn't, I didn't talk about it, but I've been seeing the fact that Thor Finn is older in the opening, right? And they show more of him more than anything else. They even they even have a part in the opening where they're showing him at different stages um, as he gets older, right? And I, and, and I decided that I was like, so Thor is not really, because he literally showed up one, they showed him one time in the opening, one time so that, that again showed me that there's no way he's going to be the main character. So it so that come to thinking, I'm like, is Thor's going to die? Um, and because we know of the situation that was brewing from the last episode, I was like, there's a possibility he might die in this episode here, in episode four, because you know what I'm saying, like. <sighs> And it was so sad. He went out like a boss, though. Don't get it twisted. Dude got like eight arrows in him. And he was still standing. Standing there. You know what I'm saying? It, it almost brought me to tears. Because I was like, the way how they depicted it. The way how they did it. The way how the studio animated it was absolutely beautiful. Um, as if the fighting is not already. The animation is not already on point. Awesome. Askeladd was no match for him. Um, and he basically sacrificed himself to save his to save his son and all the kids that were on the boat. I hope they realize that this I hope they realize that this is not um necessarily Askeladd's fault, but it's more of Floki and he really should be the target because it really has nothing to do with Askeladd because Askeladd didn't really do he had to kill Thor's. He had to. Because that's the contract. So. Him understanding. Warrior to warrior. What Thor's was about to do. That's why he gave the signal for the for the arrow. So. Man. That, that was. That was a, a great episode. Of anime to watch. Um, as I said man. I kind of figured that they were going to kill his character. Even though he's so good. He's so good to the point where I don't think there's if if there's somebody out there I think not even Floki could take him out. I don't think Floki's on his level. You get what I'm saying? So he had to hire pirates to kill him because he didn't want to. I don't know if he just didn't want to go up against him directly because it wasn't like he was sent to kill him. What happened between him and Floki in the past? I don't know. Is are they really? Did they really execute him? Are they, you know what I'm saying? Did they really execute him because of him abandoning, abandoning them? Did is that really the reason, or is there something else? You know what I'm saying? Is there some hidden agenda behind this that happened that we don't know of yet? So there's also those things to contend with, man. And as I said, man, you can. You can hear it. I, I'm listening to myself right now, and I'm, I can hear it in my voice that my heart is extremely heavy right now because of this, because of what just happened. Because, I mean, in, in four episodes, they established a character. It's something that stories, you don't see in stories very often, is establishing a character in very few episodes of whatever and then killing them and have the audience feel for that. It's not an easy thing to do. So hats off to the author, man. Um, and the people that are writing this anime. The atmosphere, the music, the, the, the everything. They're doing it very well. The voice acting is 
absolutely incredible in this anime so far and i have to give them props We're looking forward to the next episode guys hope you guys are there to enjoy it with me thank you guys so much for following um some things are going to be late this week if you're watching other stuff on the channel hunter hunter all that stuff is going to be late this week because i'm super busy all that stuff is going to be off schedule um so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time right here on the channel remember you are Terra Squad. I am Mr. Terra by Reacts, and I will see you guys for the next one. Peace.